The year is 410 AD. The Empire is besieged on all sides. The Goths have just sacked Rome and are now ravaging Italy uncontested. The western half of the Empire has thrown off its official Roman control and are now supporting a pretender emperor. The Empire is in dire straits, and with Britain being threatened in the north, it can only get worse. The first call for aid to save Britain was sent to the pretender emperor Constantine III, who had attempted to usurp the Roman throne in the year 407 AD. Although facing his own issues in Gaul, he was unable to send any aid. The next call for aid was sent to the official Roman Empire in the west, Honorius. This plea was met with the reply, they must look to their own defences. This reply officially ended all ties to the Roman authority. Although with the withdrawal of Roman authority, Britain did not immediately cease to exist. Roman Britain had a long history of ceding from the empire in times of crisis to deal with its own affairs. To observers of this event, this could have seemed no different and Rome would soon return. However, this time, Rome would never come back. By the year 400 AD, the glory of Rome had long passed. Unable to defend itself against either internal rebellion or the growing threat of Germanic tribes expanding in northern Europe, the distant province of Britannia was set to defend itself. Timeline 383 to 388 In the year 383, the Roman general assigned to Britain, Magnus Maximus, had launched a successful bid for imperial power crossing into Gaul ahead of a legion opposing the current Western Emperor, Gratian. After assassinating Gratian, Magnus served as Caesar, sub-emperor, under Theodosius. With the withdrawal of Roman troops from Britain to aid in a power struggle of Magnus, large hordes of Picts and Saxons began to raiding throughout the Isles. Draining the defences in Britain, Maximus led his army south to claim the empire, and so further weakening the defences in the north. Maximus was defeated by the Emperor Theodosius at the Battle of the Save, 389 to 406. With Maximus now dead, Britain and Gaul returned to the rule of Theodosius until the year 392, in which the imperial usurper Eugenius was raised to Caesar and attempted to take the empire from Theodosius. After another failed attempt on the throne, Eugenius was defeated and executed by Theodosius. In the year 395, Theodosius died, leaving his 10 year old son, Honorius, on the Roman throne. Although the real power behind the throne was the man named Stilicho, he assumed control of the empire and launched a military campaign to halt further seaborne raids on the east coast of Britain. In the year 402, Stilicho was faced with wars from the Visigothic king Alaric and the Ostrogothic king Radigaius. In need of military manpower, the Hadrian Wall was stripped of all remaining troops and sent south. The raiding tribes in northern Britain began to increase and expand south as a result of the weakened defences. 407 to 410. At the beginning of 407, tribes of the Alans and Vandals living east of Gaul began to cross the Rhine taking advantage of the disorganised state the empire was in. With no effective response being posed by Rome to the invaders, the military leaders of Britain began to panic. Assuming a Germanic invasion of the Isles was soon to come, electing two military leaders, Marcus and Gratian, who did not meet expectations and were killed. The third choice for a British leader was the soldier Constantine III. In 407, Constantine took charge of the remaining troops in Britain and led them into Gaul. Rallying the remaining Roman support, he attempted to claim the Western Imperial throne. Loyalist forces serving under the current Emperor Honorius were preoccupied fighting the Gothic armies south of the Alps, giving Constantine extra time to assert control in Spain. Constantine's control over parts of his empire quickly fell apart due to the overextension of his forces through Spain and Gaul, making both theatres ineffective. With Britain completely drained of forces, feeling they had no relief, Constantine's magistrates were completely expelled in 409 and Britain became independent from the empire to deal with its own issues. With Britain now completely disconnected from Rome, further raids by the Picts and Saxons continued to expand slowly overcoming post-Roman Britain every day assuming control of the country slightly. The lights didn't immediately go out in Britain after Rome left. It took several years with many lives lost, slowly the culture began to change. Roman infrastructure began to become unserviced and the country slid back from civilization. 